What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing part three of the outro tutorial. Yes, I got it right. Not intro, outro. And today we'll be working with another program. Okay, so we're pretty much done in After Effects. Now we need to do stuff with Premiere Pro. So I'll have a trial link in the description below. So once you open it up, we're going to name this outro um, tutorial. Yeah, sure. And then OK. No, whoops. Okay, let's name this. I am awesome. Okay, that that's work. That that works. Then we're gonna go under HDTV and select HDTV 1080p 30. Um, actually, there should be other settings here. Let me find the one that works best because this isn't actually true HD. Okay, so yeah, go under HDTV or uh, HDV and then uh, 1080p 30. All right, and then go into settings and um, select it as custom, and then we can change the resolution. So 1920 by 1080, and then square pixels. All right, progressive scan, 30 frames per second, um, exactly. And uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, that's that's good enough. So um, we're gonna save this preset as universal preset because this is what you should always usually be using okay so uh, I'm gonna click OK and now we should open up a new kind of sequence so now we're gonna actually yeah we're gonna go back into Adobe and we're gonna have to render this okay so uh, go to file export uh, add to render queue alright and then we're going to output to click not yet specified or comp2 and name it whatever you want so uh, outro no sound because we'll need to add sound uh, save and then click render and uh, yeah alright so I've uh, finished rendering it so I'm gonna go back to Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, find that full, uh, file that I rendered which is comp2-1 and I'm gonna drag it into video 1 and then it's time to add some audio so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly steal the old audio that I had for my um, old outro uh, so oh okay so I have now put my audio in here and uh, it sounds pretty good but I guess uh, we might want some sound effects here so like some whoosh sound effects and whatnot so uh, I'm gonna provide download links in the description below for that as well so uh, basically this is one track here and it's got a bunch of different sound effects so you just pe choose which one that you would like and uh, then just select it kind of like here I'll zoom in and show you how it's got like all of these if you click the drop down menu thing you'll see the waveform for it and you'll see where to cut it off so like you could cut it off here and that's one yeah so now I've added in some more sound effects, so I got a few whoosh, uh, whoosh sound effects for when things like kind of whoosh in, and then we got like a fall kind of, for the fall I got like a punch sound effect, so I'll also have a download link for that, and then another whoosh because he whooshes down, um, and then I'm also going to have kind of gravel stepping or grass stepping sounds for when he walks and then maybe even a voice sound effect somewhere in there so yeah I'm gonna do that okay to render the video you're gonna want to now go to file um, export media uh, we're gonna change the format to h.264 and um, we're gonna scroll down actually uh, click the preset and scroll down or click this arrow here we're gonna go find 1080p 30 Hertz alright so that's the preset and then we're gonna go down here where it says video change the frame rate just to 30 because multi, uh, YouTube supports 30 NTSC okay everything's good there everything's in the audio okay so now we're just gonna wanna click the export button shortly after we actually click sequence 01.mp4 we're gonna need to name this so this will be final outro mix okay and um export
Congratulations! You now have an outro with sound, so now we want to put kind of pretend videos or or your actual videos in there uh, along with your usual video. So let's pretend this is an actual video file. Uh, all we have to do is add our intro and like yeah let's add our intro and then um, the final outro mix and on top of the final outro mix you can do this while you're editing the video just find one of your videos that you've like already made like um, hmm, which one okay I'll, I'll choose the top five texture packs one and I'll put it over here I'm gonna right click it click unlink and then delete the audio file because we won't be needing that and I'll just put it over top of here and then when the uh, square boxes like Q in, um, yeah, that's when I will pretty much put it in. So, here, let's look at the outro right there. So we'll drag that to there, and then the next thing we're we're uh, gonna need to do is click it. So it's selected. Go into Effect Controls, uh, click the drop-down box for Motion, and we're gonna turn down the scale so that it fits one of these cubes here. And we're just gonna kinda play around with it. I I can you can also double click it and then move it like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Put it over the grass box. You can uh make it whatever size you want. I'm gonna make it like this size, maybe a bit bigger. Um there we go. That's good. That's fine. Another thing you can do is lower the opacity on here. So uh, click that drop down menu and then change it from 100% to whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to leave mine. Uh, so I might just re render the actual outro, whoops, uh, to make these cubes bigger. But for now, this is fine. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm the Minecraft Sauce. Hope you enjoyed this uh, very long tutorial series part. Uh, the the other thing is you can like of course put annotations to links to like the actual videos on your outro. But uh, anyways, that's the end of this tutorial. Not I, re I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I worked quite hard on it. Uh, I had to edit this whole outro and I had to edit this whole video. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you'll subscribe, like, share, and tell everybody. So um, I'll see you guys later in my next videos.